Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Muslim Farmville. Thanks for stopping by. Last night we had chicken for dinner and then I saved the bones and put together some bone broth. So I'm just going to go ahead and let that cool down. I am getting ready today and preparing for the uh, summer abundance arriving every day here in our little farm, mashallah. So we brought the dehydrator out and I'm wiping it and getting it clean and get it ready for summer use. As you all know, every summer we bring our dehydrator out and I keep it here in the dining room. Go ahead and check all the trays. This year we want to get ahead of the herbs and everything that's coming in from the farm. We don't want anything to go to waste. Well, there is passion flowers that are dry from last year. And the rest of the trays are empty and ready to be used. And instead of keeping it in the dining room this time, I would like to keep the dehydrator in the kitchen. It will be easy to see it and to continue filling it. I'm telling my husband, look what I found, passion flower and a few different flowers that we grew from last year. What shall I do? He said, oh, those are really nice. We will use them <laughs> for bath because every time we run around and work in our little farm and the heat, sometimes the end of the day, you come in and your muscles ache so we can take a bath with this passion flower with Epsom salt. Look at how vibrant and beautiful they are even though they were from last year. And I always like to use glass jars for our hormones and health. My husband is putting his coffee together and I'm just going to go ahead and put together red raspberry leaf tea this morning. I like in the mornings to get my hot teas in, even though it's hot weather in Wisconsin. I enjoy that. Also, I want to work on kombucha that we put together, oh my goodness, maybe three weeks ago. Also, I'm hydrating, I'm stopping, taking my time, hydrate and slow down. Here is the dehydrator. I thought maybe it will be perfect here. We will see if that works out. My uh, arms are quite short, so I'm going to ask my husband to help to black that in and uh, I will go ahead and put my tea together. We're talking about, do you think this will work out? This area, yes. There. I wanna get my water from the Berkey as well. We uh, like to use clean water. That looks perfect right there. Let's put the red raspberry leaf tea in the mornings, I don't like to eat breakfast right away, especially early morning, 8 and 9 a.m. It's kind of early for me. I'll go ahead and have my tea in the morning and water while we uh, clean and prepare. My husband brought mason jars. They are all clean and ready to go. My neighbors has been asking me, when you make bone broth can you please share it especially chicken bone broth that's why i decided to not throw those chicken bones from last night make bone broth and someone asked me in the comment um do i do brush or cook i believe the bone broth or slow cook i like it slow cook but um, i just love that time it takes and it pulls all the goodness from the bones and i just like that way to let it simmer for quite some time 
I don't like to pressure cook my uh, bone broth. If I need it right away to use for something, I can see that. But most of the time, my bone broth, I just like the slow cook uh, throughout the day. It smells so good. Bone broth, I talk about it all the time. It's not only good for hair and nails, your gut, skin. It's such a beautiful smell and delicious taste. It has so many benefits. Bone broth, I can talk about it for a long time. So I was able to get four mason jars. I'm just going to let it cool down here. Look at the gold on top. <laughs> the good health effect. Let's go ahead and work on the kombucha because my counters are always full of kombucha sourdough starters kefir we always have something so now i need the space for the summer abundance that's arriving so these jars i have bought them oh my goodness maybe 10 years ago and I always use them for something and they are so bright colors and I love that. I found them from secondhand store, of course, right? Few of you have always asked me, isn't kombucha alcohol? We are Muslim, we don't drink alcohol. Well, kombucha really it depends on how long you let it ferment, but at the same time, do you use apple cider vinegar? It's really like that. It's good for the gut. So we don't drink alcohol. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the kombucha. I asked my husband, what flavors shall we do this time? And he said, what do you think? Some ginger? Maybe we'll do a couple of bottles of ginger and one bottle of peaches because we have some peaches, remember, from the few videos ago. So he chopped the fresh ginger and we will let it sit for maybe another few days. And look at these scopies. My niece Salma from St. Louis gave to me couple of the scobies and every time I make kombucha they have been growing it so I have tons of it I said to my husband look at all these kombucha and he said maybe you should start selling them or giving them away <laughs> yep maybe I should sell them those the scobies one piece will be five dollars that's what people sell it that looks beautiful I'm just going to go ahead and take that to the fridge downstairs where our laundry machine is. My husband has a smile because he's telling me, well, you can make a business out of this. I will just go ahead also and work on kefir. I used raw milk, mm, I don't know, for a while and add it with kefir grains. It's really not actually a grains, but kefir grains and let it sit for a while. So that kefir is fermented so long and it smells strong, you all. So I'm, I'll strain it, keep some of the kefir grains in the fridge and put the kefir milk into the fridge too. So now we have kombucha. I'm going to let it sit for probably maybe less than a week right here. I'm going to keep it on top of this island here suddenly it's starting to get dark and we wanted to go outside and collect some herbs but we will see i want to make sure i get my counters free and empty space right and what i wanted to go outside so these herbs are from my dear closest friend a farm friend so i'm gonna put it into our tea area i think a couple of months ago i had a bad cold and she made me a good spring tea mix that was so sweet and few other herbs that she collected from her farm 
she dried it and gave it to me so I'm gonna use that too throughout the summer right now I'm switching my vanilla you guys know that I have been making vanilla oh my god since Ramadan I'm thinking about keeping it three to six months let it just sit there oh it smells so good instead of having that half a gallon mason jar I decided to pour it into a smaller mason jar and I realized my husband already went out and I realized I forgot the uh, leftovers of bone broths with the vegetables and stuff so we are going outside it started raining already but we still want to go out it's the morning and we want to collect some mint apple mint and spearmint the garden is thriving you all Look at all those zucchinis and squashes. Lots of mint. I believe it's called the perennial that mint continuously comes back every year. You don't have to plant mint again and again every year like other vegetables or other herbs mint natural naturally comes back and it will take over your garden so this side of the garden we put a fence up and it still it went through the fence so my husband is collecting some spearmint and we decided oh it smells so good we decided to go ahead and just collect most of the apple mint because it's just thriving you all he's showing me all the flowers that are coming in and look at the zucchini and squash area i love seeing those beautiful flowers yeah we will give it a couple more months and we will see here is angie she's following us everywhere my husband was feeding the dogs and we are in back to the kitchen again Time to work on the mint. It's gonna smell so good. I already posted this little video in Instagram and a lot of you were like, it's hard to find apple mint these days. SubhanAllah, I didn't know that. And some of you were like, oh, I'm sure your house smells so good. <laughs> it really does. And it's free we will collect them oh the vanilla smells so good we will collect the, all these mint and dry them and use it for winter we are not gonna let anything go to waste so the vanilla also I'm gonna just go ahead and add it into my tea area that's where we keep lots of good fresh herbs and also the pantry it's time to fill these trays look at how vibrant this mint is and it's all free the creator is so good to us naturally every year comes back and i love using these dry goods in the winter season we don't have to run to the store looking for mint I love that. Anything I should say that we can grow here, we like to go ahead and grow it and use them. SubhanAllah. If you don't have a farm, if you don't have a garden, it's okay. If you can get hold of from your local grocery stores some mint, you can just set it even by your window. And you will be surprised. Inshallah, everything that we collect or we freeze, I like to make sure to use them, Inshallah, the will of God, in January. The month of January last year, I did my best not to go to the grocery store and save everything from our little farm, farmer's market, collect everything we can that's cheap this time of the year and use it the winter. 
So that's my goal. Whatever you can get hold of now, if you have the space to save it, save it because this time of the year, everything is cheap and affordable instead of winter season. And I want to use it. The month of January is my goal not to go the groceries, inshallah. So right now we're just going to fill the dehydrator and dehydrate the mint. Because winter time when it comes in is so cold. The whole family loves mint tea, Somali tea, red raspberry leaf tea, some melon tea, whatever we can get hold of the summer season. And also use honey from our farm. We are like, yes. We finally did it. We kept saying, oh, this smells amazing. We finally put this mint together. We kept saying that, oh, don't let the mint go to waste, right? Because we have been having lots of heavy rains and wind. So finally we started putting to use the dehydrator. Time to close the bone broth. My neighbors will be so happy. Sometimes I like to also, instead of hot tea, drink it in the morning, bone broth. Such a flavor. My husband is working on the dishes. Time for me to get a cup of tea and let it sit there to cool it down. I love and love hot tea, but not when it comes right out of the pot. It's too hot. It's the African, you know, in Somalia, it doesn't matter what the heat is. Hot tea, it's must. <laughs> so I'm just going to let it cool down a few minutes while I help my husband doing the dishes. I'm just going to dry them and put them away. The goal is having my counters empty, which we did. The kombucha is set. The kefir is set. So the bone broth is kind of done. I am grateful that everything is coming together. Alhamdulillah. And this way also, when I'm in the kitchen with my husband, it's a good way to connect. And we chat what's going on, how are we doing, ask one another what's happening in the house, the children. I have milk arrived. So I'm just also going to put that into the fridge. I do my best when I can get hold of raw milk to order some places they don't even sell raw milk it's illegal there is one place that sells uh, raw milk in wisconsin but it's kind of far away and then sometimes they will deliver mm, about an hour away from us so when i can get hold of it i do Let's put those in the back. And what we had before, I just put it in the front. As I mentioned many times, one of my daughters can't have raw milk or any dairy. So that jar right now is almond milk. I was sh shaking it to mix it together. And I want to make sure she has some bland-based milk, which she does well. So these two is what's left for us. Bone broths, the other two was for my neighbor keeping it clean every time in the fridge our hands the children's hands it's always sticky time for me to slow down and to take a break i enjoyed my tea i brought up finally i washed some of my aprons because i need to get ready for summer right they are all clean i did hang them my husband brought the dirty wash clothes there i usually wash it once a while my apron so today actually last night was the night so today i'm just gonna go ahead and hang them so they are ready for me because when I run around in the kitchen, in the farm, I can put them on and my dresses stay nice and clean. The one that I'm wearing, it has a little duck in the chest. Sabrina gave that to me and Asi, it was so cute. They went to a secondhand store and they said, we found this. You have ducks and you like aprons. So here, 
<laughs> so cute. Thank you, guys. That is it, you all. Everything is coming together. More tea. More time to slow down, right? When you are a mama, you must slow down. Otherwise, your body will shock you and you don't want that. Every hour, I believe, to take a little break, if it's 10 minutes or 15 minutes, even 5 minutes goes long ways. We have a rug that was in the kitchen and I want to just go ahead and bring it here for Anwar to use it. He likes to sit in the porch and I feel bad when he doesn't have a carpet, a little rug. So that used to be in our kitchen. And not too long ago, I bought these two other rugs. And one of them goes in front of the sink and one of them goes in front of the stove. These are kind of pretty. I thought light green will match our toaster. Perfect, everything is clean and organized. Picking up extra little leaves from the mint. Anwar loves his little rug there like oh but you got a nicer ones here mom I like to sit in those time to go outside get a fresh air sit down I have learned so many times if I don't slow down my body will slow me down and I will not feel good And I do my best not to carry around my cell phone. And I always say, pray, nobody's looking for me. <laughs> but it's okay to put the cell phone down, to put the laptop down, TV off, sit outside, get a fresh air, and kind of be grateful and show gratitude what I was able to get it done this morning and enjoy my tea. We cannot have all these noises and things moving around all the time. It's not good for our mind, body, and soul. So it's nice to just sit, breathe fresh air, have a bitter tea, and just sit. Yep, just sit a few minutes. Talk to your cat if you got a cat. If you don't, just talk to the creator as well. Make a few seconds to even say thank you. It goes a long ways. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today here in our little homestead. Our little kitchenette. Apples are thriving, you all. This is the next day that the mint is all dry. And I make sure my glass mason jar, it's all dry. I don't want to put this beautiful dry mint into a wet mason jar. That will not last. It will start becoming moldy and I don't want to do that. Put all of that together and start saving these delicious free herbs from our creator. Gratitude. I appreciate each one of you for stopping by. Look at this. It still it smells amazing. So delicious, especially the winter season. It's even more meaningful. Subhanallah. I have a big smile. Little things that can put a smile into your face, right? Have a beautiful, blessed day. I'll be so grateful when I cook this for my family. Winter season will be so cold and sprinkle a little bit of honey and feed them and they enjoy it. Seeing their faces brings me to joy. Subhanallah. What brings you joy? What are the little things coming down that brings you joy? 
share it with me because I'm a simple person. I like those little things. Alhamdulillah. I will see you next video. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Please share our videos with your family and friends. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and give the thumbs up. I would love to have you here. I'm putting all those trays back. Every piece of that mint is valuable here. It's more than gold, priceless, right? So valuable. We know who collected. We know where it grew. Then we know what we are feeling in our family. Let's bring back our hereditaries back. Salam alaikum.